Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again. And today we're reviewing Breaking Bad, Heisenberg. This is the first figure from Mezco's new line, aside from the San Diego Comic Con exclusive, and the retail price is $17.99. Here's a nice look at the back of the packaging. This version of Walter White is obviously a completely new sculpt, and it depicts the character as his drug lord name, Heisenberg. For the most part, he's wearing plain clothing, but he also has his signature sunglasses and hat. On the back of the figure, there's not much to really see other than his black clothing, but you can get a better look at the detailing that they put into it to make it as realistic as possible. Moving on to the head sculpt, you can see they did a great job trying to capture Brian Cranston's likeness, but it's still not 100% there. The detailing on the skin wrinkles is phenomenal though, but the paint applications could have been a little bit better. Moving down the torso, you can see he's wearing multiple layers of clothing, including a white undershirt, a red shirt, and a black jacket. Both sculpted and painted onto the red shirt and the black jacket is white buttons and a zipper line. His belt's painted in black, and they also sculpted on a buckle, which is painted in silver. In his right hand is a revolver, which is non-removable, and you can also see the veins they put into his hand. On his left hand is a gold ring, and they even went through the effort of sculpting shoelaces. Weapons and accessories include a removable hat and sunglasses, a bag of blue crystal meth, which is fake of course, and a duffel bag full of money. So for about $18, sure he makes a great display piece, but if you're looking for something that's super articulated and poseable, this isn't the figure for you. I wish they would have included at least a few points of articulation so you can get some movement out of him, but other than that, there's not much else to complain about. When you display him on shelves, he does look pretty darn cool. So anyways, that pretty much does it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Subscribe for hundreds of collectible reviews, including Halo and Star Wars, and follow me on Facebook and Twitter for up-to-date channel news.